Okay, teachers. Uh, we have, or most of us have not been able to print to print shop uh, using the uh, just the regular old print option. Like if you were to go say up here to file and print, um, the option that pops up here for us to actually drop down the menu and choose print shop hasn't been working for a while. Um, let's see if I can find it online. Here we go. This option right here hasn't worked for a long time for us. Um, apparently something was supposed to have been pushed down to us that did not get here. So I'm going to show you how to correct this issue where you can print uh, this way again. Okay. So first of all, what you would need to do is you go to your start menu, you go over to devices and printers. When this pulls up, you're going to see, uh, it's going to list all the printers that you have available. Uh, you would find the one that says print shop, uh, which is right here, and you would hit remove device. Okay, you hit remove device, are you sure? Yes. And it's going to go through it, it takes it away. If you have to have administrative password, uh, your grade level tech person should be able to help you with that. If not, then certainly I can. At that point, I'm going to send you an email, and it's going to look, uh, look like this right here. It's going to have this link. You need to click the link. Once it opens, um, there we go. Depending on uh, what browser you're using, I'm using Chrome. Uh, it's going. It downloads uh, my the, uh, executable file right here. You can click the file once it finishes downloading. So we'll click it, and it's going to go through a run process. It's going to set itself up and run like it needs to. <clears throat> so you tell it yes. Again, if you require an administrator password, uh, your grade level um, tech person should be able to help you with that. And if not, uh, certainly I can. As you walk through the steps here, it's just a matter of clicking next. Um, let's see. We're just going to. I've actually already had this installed earlier. I was kind of going through the steps again. Um, so you basically just keep hitting next, next, next until you get to install. At that point, it will go through and do whatever it needs to do. It says it will take several minutes, and just true, it will take a few minutes. Uh, while this is going through, let me pull up this other uh, PDF here. This, I will send you this as well. It goes through and gives you the steps on what to do in case you haven't done it in a while and maybe forgotten. Um, this part right here is very important, uh, this part in green. And this is where you're going to tell it which pages to print. Um, some of us have had a problem lately. If we try to send 40 pages, but we only want it to print the middle 10, it hasn't. they haven't been able to do that. And that's because we haven't been doing it this way because this function wasn't working for us. Uh, but anyway, you may all want to take a time to read this PDF that I will send you. Uh, all right, so I'm finished here. <clears throat> At this point, uh, everything should be correct. So if you go back out to your printers and uh, devices, you should see Print Shop is there again. Uh, let's see if I have it here. Here we go. Print Shop is now there again. So at this point, you go through your normal, typical setup. Um, let's just say I wanted to print, um, I just wanted to print this particular document. Same steps as you always have. You go to file, you go to print, and all this is in that PDF as well, but just to kind of show you. You choose, uh, where do you go, print shop. If I wanted to do, if this was multiple pages and I just wanted a certain page, this is where I would tell it. I uh, hit print. It's going to automatically, it's working here to bring up what it needs uh, to get you over to Print Shop. It's going to bring up the WebCRD like we've always been signing into. There we go. <clears throat> so I'll put in like I always do. Uh, this was just your username and the same password you use to sign on to your computer in the morning. And uh, from here, uh, you hit, this is just a matter, I already have something in my cart, so. And here's our files. If I have it in the carts, I can choose. Uh, let's see, this is the one I just added, so I can either uh, work with it or remove it or whatever. At that point, everything is normal. Uh, you do everything like you normally would. Pick how many copies, if you want it double sided, uh, if you want a certain color paper, whatever. And then when you're finished, place your order. And that really is all it is to it. Um, the big thing is just, first of all, removing whatever is currently out there uh, in your printer folder. Um, Remember right out here, or you got to remove that part first. If it says print shop, if you have that, it needs to be removed. Then you would go to the email that I send you, follow this link, allow it to set up, and then you should be able to have that functionality. When you go into file and print, you should have print shop as one of your options again, and it will work properly this time. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, hopefully this made sense.